Welcome to the sixth day of Techmas. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use Microsoft's Immersive Reader within Canvas. Two things to be aware of. First of all, on the fourth day of Techmas, we create a Canvas page. If you have never done that before, you would probably want to watch that video before proceeding with this lesson. Second of all, this feature is currently in beta, meaning that features may change and updates may happen, and this is something that has very recently been added to Canvas. So things may change very quickly with this feature, but it is a great addition to Canvas. Okay, let's learn how to use this feature. First of all, in your Canvas course, where you are a teacher, you will need to navigate to Pages, and from there, you will need to select a page, a page that you would like to use the Immersive Reader with. I just downloaded a sample page on the introduction to the Bill of Rights from the Canvas Commons. Once a page loads, you will see this Immersive Reader button in the upper right-hand corner. You can click on that button, and the Immersive Reader will load directly within Canvas. You have a number of options here. At the bottom of the screen, there is the microphone with a gear. If you select there, you can choose the speed you would like to have the page read at. You can also choose if you would like a female or a male voice. In the upper right-hand corner, the A's allow you to choose tech pre text preferences. You can select the size of text. You can increase or decrease spacing. You can change font. You can also choose a background as opposed to the black text on a white background. For example, you could choose white text on a black background, or you could change the font. You can also increase or decrease spacing and increase or decrease the text size. To the right of that are the lines. Those are the grammar options. You can have words separated by syllables. You can turn on parts of speech like nouns, verbs, adjectives. You can have the labels shown if you would like. You can turn any of those on or off as you see fit. To the right of that, there is the book. That is the reading preference. The line focus allows just one line of text to be focused on. The picture dictionary, I have not found to work super well yet, but that should show pictures of words that might be hard for students to understand. And you can translate the document. If you choose to translate the entire document, notice that it will translate into Spanish, and there are a number of other options in addition to Spanish that the document can be translated into. So the features here are extraordinarily useful and make your document very accessible to students. Because this is in beta, it currently is only available within the Pages feature of Canvas. It is not available in quizzes assignments or other ways that content can be created within Canvas. However, putting information in a page is a very valid way to get information to students and allows you to use this feature. Once you are ready, you click play and the immersive reader will begin reading the document to the students as you have selected based on the options that you have chosen. If you have any questions on this, please let me know.